Southland company Grassco is an agricultural business measuring dry matter production on both dairy and increasingly sheep and beef farms. The company grew from the demand from dairy farmers who rely on regular information about their pasture cover and a breakdown of that information to help them maximise production. Grassco's in the business of measuring grass dry matter off pastures and that's basically what it does. We pride ourselves in quality data which generally has been in the dairy industry but is increasing and in, is present within the sheep industry. I actually fell into it literally. I had quite a serious quad bike accident and out of that um, Grass Co was a uh, idea that I'd been trying to develop for some time and uh, it basically grew from necessity really. The underlying issue that they have is time management and being able to keep up with the pasture runs and this is where Grass Co has really filled that vacuum of requirement and service and we're able to turn up every week and supply them with quality data. We're gathering data of a thousand hectares a day and the logistics of doing that with uh, the system is very difficult and in a sheep situation where you can have you know, 500 plus hectares to do on one particular farm, uh, those other type of systems just cannot meet that time frame to work in. I'm personally doing about 25 dairy farms a week and we have three regular sheep clients but uh, it's a growing area that we're sort of working on. Sheep clients generally want it on a casual type basis and uh, as they get their um, confidence in the data and in the process of um, using it that I'm sure this will grow quite substantially really. This is our custom built sledge and um, under here is the um, CDAX pasture reader and it has been set up in a sort of custom built way but that, that's basically the technology under there and that's protected, a wind protector there so um, we've got here the mechanism for lifting the unit up and down. This is about the model 6 that we've developed over the years and this will be the model I think that will take us into the future really. This is CDAX's original headset console. We get on very well with that in our system and the way we operate load, downloading the data. And uh, our point of difference is our track map um, guidance transit line. And that is very much part of data accuracy. And it plays a big role in keeping our data consistent every week. It also gives me the ability to work late into the night if I have to. If you, you know, have a good run collecting the data, we download it and edit it on the computer and send email it away to the office and it can actually be back in the client's app on his phone within half an hour. Well, we've got 520 acres, or that's about 180 hectares, all sheep, rolling country. And we've been away from farming, Robin and I, since the mid-80s and we've been back here now about six years and in our retirement years we're just enjoying our farm and all the new technology. I was at a field day three years ago and uh, I was introduced to Donald Martin, this uh, chap who run this grass co-operation and I said, oh yes, that was interesting. And uh, I sort of got quite interested in the measurement of grass and how it you know, could make life easier for us, especially as we like spending quite a bit of time away from the farm and I thought perhaps we could use this information in a more useful way. So in our operation it uh, gives us accuracy. We know what we've got, we can plan in advance uh, and make any corrections if necessary. It was interesting last year when we looked at the covers how they'd actually dropped through the winter and I thought grass doesn't really disappear but it did. We fed the stock according to the information we had and we had the best stock coming out of the winter that I can ever remember here. This is the pasture run that we've just done Neil, so it's all relevant and um, there's paddocks in here that you're going to have to take out for baleage, so um, mm -hmm. th that'll be um, you know, starting to pop up here. With using Grassco, not only have we got the, the weekly covers but also you've got your projections uh, based on the graph on which where it's going 
and based on Donald's extensive knowledge, he uh, can you know, advise one, and in my case he said, look, Neil, you need to look at this baleage, the, the covers are really rocketing, and uh, you have sufficient grass to take out X number of paddocks, um, which is certainly what's going to happen. Um, it's never ever happened on this place that I can ever remember to do baleage this time of year. One of the biggest things I learned out of all this is not all paddocks are equal. And uh, we certainly quickly identified paddocks that weren't producing. And I've already implemented a program of regrassing. In fact, we're going to do around 60 hectares over this summer slash autumn. I just want to get rid of those very performing paddocks. We've done a trial last year in a couple of paddocks, and the results were outstanding. I did not believe what happened in the tractor. The amount of grass we have in those paddocks is phenomenal. It's actually very cost effective. It cost me around $180 a measure plus GST. It's relatively inexpensive when you look at the whole operation of farming in an overall picture, but for me, since we spend so much time away in the winter, that we can set the place up uh, starting in the, uh, the end of summer, autumn, and then go into the winter and leave somebody else in control. And we know that what is happening, the stock are being fed properly, and with, of course, the weekly updates, we can monitor from anywhere around the world now with the use of a computer or cell phone. This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.